reviews day. Today's episode is on cereal, so let's start off with a review. I actually really love cereal. Basically, the idea is that they will be telling a story over like 12 episodes, and season one, which I'm going to be reviewing, is about Unnan Sayed, a man who is accused of his ex-girlfriend's murder. And basically, week by week, the host, Sarah Koenig, goes through like, court recordings, interview recordings, talks to witnesses, evidence, that kind of stuff, to discover if this man, Adnan Sayed, actually committed the crime. And yeah, it goes into great detail, and it's this interesting kind of true crime mystery kind of thing. So from the start, this is presented as like a normal mystery. Like it's kind of like, oh, Adnan Sayed, the ex-boyfriend was accused of murder, but did he do it? Kind of thing. And it might seem like, oh, that's a bit offensive that you would talk to it like it's just like a fictional thing when it's actually involving real people. But the problem is that people tend to kind of get into their minds that this is the way to look at like some crime. In fact, I have only served on a jury once and I was told by the judge, don't try and play detective, just look at the evidence as it's presented. And Serial, I think, kind of thrives off this, thrives off the idea that it is a mystery that will hopefully be solved. I mean, even if you look at true crime kind of shows and books, they tend to still go onto this line. Like, it's like, oh, we know it was this person and this is how the investigation unfolded. When it comes to mysteries, I think there are two elements that kind of are the engagement. The first is that it is a cerebral challenge. We are kind of challenged with, can we figure out who did it like before the detectives did? Or in the case of something like this, it's not even known. So it comes down to we can actually almost participate in this. We get this second-hand information and we can choose to process it in ways that we think fit with our theories. It's almost similar to uh, Cloud Chamber, which is a game that you get all these kind of disjointed videos and you have to figure out what everything means through it. And in many ways, it completely dominates this. It totally understands that this is the engagement and it will go to the length of saying, well, what about the defense attorney, what did she do wrong next time on Serial? So it will kind of drag people in by like, keep watching to find out the next little nugget of information. And the other and perhaps more important engagement uh, is the concept of wanting a resolution. Like when we watch like a CSI show, we love seeing that moment where all of the pieces kind of coalesce into this lovely little jigsaw of like, oh, that's how this connects to this, and this connects to this, and that connects to that. And I think it's more interesting to consider it on this level for the simple reason that, spoilers, uh, this show doesn't really have a resolution per se. I mean, at the end of the show, Sarah Kane feels no closer to the truth than when she started. And in many ways, she is very perturbed by the fact that it started off being this mystery that she thought that she could solve in a similar way that I imagine that most viewers think they could solve and that becomes very complicated when you put that against with a stark contrast reality because reality is not that simple it is not that uh, clean and lovely that you can just go like I'm gonna do this I'm gonna figure all this stuff out because it's more complex than that. People might not outright lie, they might just misunderstand the situation or have a different perspective. People will, people might pepper what they think of a person based on their past experiences. And in that way, it's very difficult to see how everything fits together. Like maybe people are lying, but why are they lying? What do they gain out of lying? And it's, and it's almost a sobering thought to think that everything isn't as simple as like this person is innocent, so this person might be guilty. And yeah, I mean, there isn't really much more to say about it. I, I just think it's very interesting thinking about it through the lens of mystery fiction, because I think that is the way that we tend to look at it. Yes, I think that is all I can really say on the show, other than watch it, listen to it. Why do I always do that? Listen to it, because it's amazing. Uh, and yes, 
that is my reviews day if you like cereal or don't like cereal or whatever tell me in the comments i'll leave a link to uh the website where you can watch it or like an itunes thing if you want to not watch it listen to it and yes you can do that and i need to go to my doctor's appointment so i will see you guys next month i guess bye